Hi there, fellow estimators. This is for CET 226 Estimating, Stark State College. This is part two of the video I just posted for the midterm project. I have in the Blackboard folder, I have the rivet, you know, uh, file, the rivet drawings, but I know not all of you, you know, actually have the ability or even have rivet actually at your uh, living places. So I just thought maybe I can do like a, uh, a sort of like a visual of what the building. If you already watched my first video, this will be the north wall, this will be the east wall, and this will be the west wall, as I mentioned before. But let's actually have some more details. You know, let me actually show you kind of like what the building is all about on the interior part. So in here, I'm just going to displace it for you actually who are familiar with Rivet and took the Rivet class. I know the civil majors and the architectural majors actually are required to take it. So this is kind of like what we, what I mentioned before on the first video is the mezzanine, what we call the mezzanine. This is the 8 inches CMU wall. And this is the interior 12 inch CMU wall. And these are the double doors. And these are the precast concrete planks that go in. And that's why we call this a mezzanine. It's a floor inside a floor. You know, it's not, you know, a full second floor. It's partial, you know. And in here, if I just look at this part in here, so this is that, you know, center post and that 24 inch beam. And if I even displace just the roof layer part or the roof, you know, material part, so you can see actually the open web joist. As you can see here. So this kind of like give you a better idea, a better visual than just looking at the blueprints. So these are the open web joists. Of course, they are going to span from the block wall the east to the beam and then from the beam to the west you know, masonry walls and you know they will have <clears throat> they will have a bearing plate here at the west wall and a bearing plate in here on the east wall and again just to make sure that we're covered this is the four foot wall that you need to put above the existing you know uh, building and the existing wall because the existing building is 20 feet high the new building will be 24 feet high and in the back of it right here, that's where we need to first remove that gravel stop or flashing or coping. And then we need to add a flashing and a counter flashing to actually make it watertight. And in here, this is the post and the post has its own footings. As you saw in the blueprints, you know, there is an actual blueprint in here. Uh, actual footings, actually foundation for it. And in here, here it is. And, you know, here's the detail of it. It's five foot six by five foot six. That's a large, you know, footing. And here's the, the depth of it. And basically it's two feet and that makes it from here to here one foot six so the same as what we did for the footing for the interior walls you can do the same just basically estimate the whole slab the same thing the six inches concrete slab and then add that portion so that will be actually one foot six from here so five foot six plus or times five foot six square and the thickness will be you know from here in addition to the floor thickness will be one foot six it is reinforced with five number four rebars each way they're going, kind of like a mesh at the bottom there, three inches from the bottom. So you can also add that. And, of course, they have anchor bolts, two anchor bolts, three-quarter inch diameter, and by one foot three inches long anchor bolts for that major column. The column here, as you can see it, the best way really visually, you know, here, you know, I think it's a good visual aid is that you see this eight inches steel post also uh just to make sure that you know you don't really forget about them 
you know, the way that this building, these masonry walls is actually they reinforce them with pilasters. That's kind of like a, a previous, an older way of, you know, making sure that you add strength to the walls, the masonry walls. And they have one on the north wall, one pilaster on the north wall, and they have two pilasters. Again, these are just blocks and they actually don't get deceived by the height in here they actually go full height and in here you know it looks like it's not but they are you know here it is it's full height so that's kind of like adding actually a post inside your block and the details of them is part of your drawing they show them here there are actually so the total thickness here will be two foot six but the extra part again you know this is the footing actually not the you know the extra foundation for it but the actual wall itself is going to be an extra foot so 12 inches here and another 12 inches here by two feet you know long so you will have you know two feet times you know one foot times the height which will be 24 for each of these pilasters pilasters in masonry using cmu using eight inches CMU so that's kind of like what you see here and I thought maybe I will share with you these visuals and hopefully that would help you you know trying to visualize and again visualizing is very important to be able to estimate it if you know if you've taken you know rivet then basically you know that shouldn't be a problem and you can you know do what i did in here so i'm just resetting this displacement putting it back together and you know here it is and if you're not well you know you can just watch the video here and maybe follow me or trying to you know slow it down and repeat and you can actually understand it also a good visual to help you understand that loading dock area you know this is basically the concrete if you recall from my first video we actually going to add right at the edges here all these three by three metal angles three eighths you know and this is all concrete here so there's a concrete floor and there's a concrete here up vertical 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 and that's where the loading dock or the dock leveler you know that you also have to include and that was specified in the document that i gave you this document here that it needs to actually have a loading or a dock leveler and I give you all the information about it and let's see where it is here dock bumpers and here is the dock leveler 3,000 pounds that's that's ten and a half capacity and it's six by six you know that you need to include part of your bid it has to be included part of your bid and one thing of course that we don't really see here or we did not see or was not included again it doesn't matter but you know it's somewhere you know you can see here like this was added here somewhere we will have and if it is not the correct location that's okay you know uh, we will have these jib cranes piers see here here's the, the actual jib crane piers if i hide this here's that extra concrete that you need to actually include four feet by four feet by six feet and there are two of them you know which wall they go against it should not matter you know there's only one shown here but they need us to include two of them uh, these you can actually google you know they look like a 90 degree crane an arm you know and usually to you know locally move things from left to right and maybe a little bit forward and whatnot so that's kind of like again if it is not here maybe it's here maybe even here or against this wall you know but basically include two of them also here you can visualize that footing here that i told you in the first you know video it is one foot you know six inches wide by two foot four inches you know thick deep you know and pretty much it's the same but they step down and then of course there's extra also in here so there's still ones in here for the building you know against the loading dock but there's also an extra one in here so if you 
no rivet if you've taken rivet or taking it right now you know take advantage of this remember you go to the 3d and you click on a wall or on a roof and from that you actually go in here under the view tab or the view modify ribbon here and basically under the view displace element and you can move it up and down left and right in any direction i find that very helpful in you know trying to visualize the building and trying to visualize what i'm trying to estimate and how that works i hope this helps you know and feel free to contact me with any questions or inquiries have a good day